sometimes. Looking at the game time situation weather-wise, it's not going to be awful. It's going to be fall-like with good football weather. Temperatures for the most part in the 40s and 50s. I do think we'll carry the risk of a light shower. Not a washout, not persistent rain, not the entire day. But it looks like at this point, there's a chance of a shower late Friday night and then a chance of a shower onto Saturday afternoon. Hopefully our window will time out nicely. 40s then 50s, tailgating kickoff at halftime. Again, allowing for that chance of a little bit of rain if you're at the game or, or if you are tailgating. Now, the tower camera today, no rain anywhere. It looks beautiful. If you look closely, they're pretty neat. A couple of the clouds coming in from south to north, a couple of the higher clouds coming in from west to east. And it looks like regardless of which way the clouds are coming from, they're coming later on this evening and tonight. So get out and enjoy the sunshine for the next hour or so before we see sunset and the clouds begin to move back in. Temperatures holding their own right around low 60s and upper 50s in Delaware and in Marysville. Good evening at 59 degrees. Everybody's seeing some light breezes and everybody's still dealing with those allergies. It's not until we get the first hard freeze that we see the weeds kind of die off. Allergy forecast for tomorrow actually gets a little bit worse. Those weeds are doing their best. Very pesky is why they, of course, get the reputation that they have for hanging tough through the fall. And again, it looks like we might get a little relief from that in our 10 day forecast. Not tonight. Mostly cloudy, mild, light winds. Temperatures will be in the upper 40s and low 50s around central Ohio. Sunrise at 715. Going through tomorrow, we'll look at mostly cloudy skies. Chance of a shower late. We'll see the temperatures warming up a little more than today, but we'll see active weather coming back in. So the clouds quickly increasing showers in the evening. So let's get you through your Thursday, second half of the day. Starting off at lunchtime, mild, breezy, cloudy, dry. Mid afternoon through the evening, there's a chance of that shower, but that chance increases by around sunset, six, seven, eight o'clock. Maybe even a rumble of thunder in there. That slides on by. Be windy as well on Thursday. Keep that in mind too. And then Thursday night into Friday, back edge of that leading edge of showers cuts on through east central Ohio overnight, hopefully leaving us a little bit better for Friday. Still a few scattered showers out there. Notice the change in temperatures, kind of downshifting into the 50s to around 60 degrees. Lunchtime on Friday, still carrying a few of those raindrops, but it looks like by game time, 7 o'clock on Friday for those high school games, things will improve just enough that we should see a dry forecast through the evening. It will be breezy and cooler, planned for temperatures in the 50s, but it does not look like we're going to see a lot of rain. And a similar forecast coming up for Saturday too. Tomorrow, the best chance of showers late afternoon through tomorrow night. A few leftovers on Friday. This should be gone by your first and 10 forecast by Friday evening. A couple of showers possible on Saturday for the second half of the game. Otherwise, mostly cloudy and cooler, 59, 57 on Sunday. But here's what we're talking about, that cool down into Monday morning. Temperatures in the 30s, a good chance one or both of those mornings of seeing a frost or a freeze. Then we'll warm right back up to near 70 by next Wednesday and Thursday before dropping back down with some scattered showers late next week and next weekend.